Have you ever wondered why France, Italy, and the United States attract so many visitors each year? While these and many other countries have some amazing natural wonders, they also boast some of the most awesome man-made structures that draw in millions. Welcome back to Finitravel. Today we're going to share with you the sheer magnitude of human ingenuity, perseverance, and creativity in our picks of the top 10 man-made wonders of the world. Number 10. Taj Mahal, India This marvel of architecture stands within Uttar Pradesh, India and is admired worldwide. Designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1983, this mausoleum has been labeled as the jewel of Muslim art in India and one of the universally admired masterpieces of the world's heritage. This structure was erected between 1632 and 1653 to be the final resting place of the wife of Shah Jahan, 5th Emperor of the Mughal Empire, who also rests within the opulent walls of this building. Constructed largely of marble, the sheer beauty and presence of this building is a thing of majesty to behold and attracts 7 to 8 million tourists every year. One really has to wonder just how this exquisite building could be crafted in an era where modern technology simply didn't exist. Number 9. Mount Rushmore, United States Undoubtedly one of the most popular scenic spots in the U.S., Mount Rushmore towers over the county of Pennington in South Dakota. The only monument of its kind in the world, its design and construction was overseen by Gustav Borglum from 1927 to 1941. Featured on this mountain are the faces of some of the most famous U.S. presidents, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. Each one of these presidents played a critical role in the creation and progression of the United States and are revered by two to three million tourists annually. This monument, however, has been the subject of controversy, with claims that it was built on lands taken from the indigenous Sioux people. Though the Sioux were offered compensation following legal battles, it's still a symbol of negativity for them to this day. Number 8. Sydney Opera House, Australia Seated in the city of Sydney, New South Wales, Australia is one of the most popular performing arts centers of all time. Constructed between 1958 and 1973, it is considered the masterpiece of Pritzker Prize winning architect Jorn Utzen and was labeled a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2007. Originally estimated to cost 7 million Australian dollars and 4 years to build, the Opera House took 15 years and 102 million dollars to complete. Since its creation, this magnificent architectural marvel has been the center of countless performances, including its first ever violin and piano recital by Wanda Wilkomirska with pianist Jeffrey Parsons. The Opera House was even the focal point for the triathlon events during the 2000 Sydney Summer Olympics. Oddly enough, despite being one of the top concert halls worldwide, the acoustics of the building are generally said to be deficient for opera performances. But it seems most people don't mind this as it continues to host more than 1,500 performances a year and even brought in 17 million performing arts fans in 2022. Number 7. Trevi Fountain, Italy You might not think much of a fountain when it comes to travel, but the Trevi Fountain in Rome, Italy might just make you think twice about it. Designed by Nicola Salvi and built in 1762, it's the largest fountain of its kind in the city and one of the most visited fountains in the world. It features amazing sculptures of Oceanus, the folklore god of water, within a scene of mythic creatures, all carved from travertine stone with incredible attention to detail. Believe it or not, this fountain almost wasn't made, as it was pitched in a contest which Nicola initially lost, but was later given the victory following outcry from locals over the origins of the first winner, Alessandro Galilei. Over the years, it's been through multiple restorations and was even the target of a protest recently, but its rock-solid beauty remains to this day and is a perfect photo opportunity on your trip through Italy. Number 6. Buckingham Palace, England Many know Buckingham Palace to be one of the few palaces left in today's world that officially house a real king and queen. But beyond that, Buck Palace is a marvel of architecture and has been around for a very long time. Originally a townhouse for the Duke of Buckingham in 1703, 
The land and house were acquired by King George III for his queen in 1761 and since then has been built around over hundreds of years into the grand palace that's so well known today. You really get a sense of majesty from seeing the palace's interior, decorated with blue and pink lapis, priceless artifacts, and the incredible banquet hall where meals held by those in power are commonplace. The exterior is no slouch either, with the majestic Victoria Memorial statue and the Buckingham Palace Gardens, which by itself could fit into a whole other category. You might not be able to experience every aspect of this castle firsthand, but this palace is undoubtedly a place you should put on your list of tourism to-dos when visiting England as over 15 million other people do each year. Number 5. The Colosseum, Italy no list of man-made marvels would ever be justified without the Colosseum. This ancient and storied Colosseum is perhaps one of Italy's most celebrated places of interest and is well known by any seasoned traveler. To this day, despite its age, it was and still is the largest amphitheater ever built. Just being in its presence is enough to give you visions of the incredible displays of gladiatorial sports and feats of strength, hunting, and glory in battle. We might think such things are barbaric nowadays, but I've yet to meet anyone who hasn't enjoyed a movie featuring the Roman Colosseum. Nowadays, the Colosseum is used for more peaceful events such as ceremonies. Of course, it goes without saying that the Colosseum is one of Italy's most toured sites, bringing in over 4 million visitors annually. You know, it's almost too bad we can't see what the Romans saw in the Colosseum's heyday. Almost. Number 4. Times Square, New York City just about anybody knows about the Big Apple or has at least heard of it. In fact, it's one of the world's most visited tourist attractions bringing in approximately 50 million visitors a year, with almost half a million pedestrians walking through it on its busiest days. As the economic capital of the United States and possibly the world, New York City has a storied history from the Roaring Twenties to the modern day, with Times Square being in the center of it all. Just being in the center of Times Square will make you feel like you're literally in the heart of success and ingenuity, with skyscrapers as far as the eye can see and an endless amount of eye-catching lights and billboards showcasing American advertising. The sheer size and number of the buildings in the area really makes you wonder how they came up so quickly in a relatively short amount of time. Well, if you ask a New Yorker, you'd probably be told that's just how they do things around there. Whatever your feelings about the city and its sleepless status, you can't deny the awe-inspiring architecture that makes up not only Times Square, but the city as a whole. Number 3. The Eiffel Tower, France An estimated 7 million people make this the world's most visited monument with an entrance fee, so it's no surprise that the icon of France will be on a list of man-made marvels. First constructed for the World's Fair in 1889 and as a centennial commemoration for the French Revolution, the tower has stood tall representing France for well over a hundred years, even surviving the invasion and hostile takeover of the Nazis until the end of World War II. Named after its designer Gustave Eiffel, this tower is the tallest structure in Paris and was the tallest man-made structure of all time until the completion of the Chrysler Building in 1930. Travelers can enjoy a meal within the restaurant located on the first and second levels of the tower or take absolutely stunning photos of France from the top observation deck. We recommend doing this at dusk or nighttime for a truly beautiful photo. Number 2. Petra, Jordan Ever wonder what it would be like to visit a city of stone? Petra is undoubtedly the best example of this concept. Dubbed the Rose Red City half as old as time, what a title. This ancient city was literally carved into the side of a mountain. Created by the ancient Nabataean people, the city served as a trade junction for the Silk and Spice Route, linking the ancient Roman, Egyptian, and Greek societies with India, China, and Southern Arabia. It comes as no surprise that this beautiful city is another UNESCO World Heritage Site, as no other city quite like this exists anywhere else, drawing in almost a million people on average every year. This city in the face of a mountain includes tombs, a theater, a temple, and the most elaborate piece, the treasury al Khazni. The red sandstone this particular structure was carved from truly brings out the majesty and history within these halls of stone. Number 1. Angkor Wat, Cambodia 
finishing our list is the world's largest religious structure according to Guinness World Records. Angkor Wat was originally constructed as a Hindu temple in the ancient Khmer capital in the 12th century before later being converted to a Buddhist temple and is thus considered a Hindu Buddhist temple. The surface area of the structure covers a staggering 402 acres. It's practically a city within itself. Nowadays, it is one of Cambodia's most visited tourist destinations, where 2.6 million people explore the grounds and meet real Buddhist monks, taking in the incredible history of this ancient temple. And if you choose to go there, you'll be contributing to its restoration and preservation, as ticket sales to see this ancient site go toward its upkeep, so the future generations don't miss out on this majestic site. Thanks so much for watching. What man-made wonders did we miss? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.